Good night everyone and welcome back to the Nocturnal Corner with Bat and in today's episode we're going to be doing both an unboxing and showing off a little bit of gameplay of the drone apocalypse. I know that is already far gone, god knows how long I wasn't really paying fucking attention, but we are going to be doing that little bit and then a little bit of seeing what I can possibly produce through these damn boxes that I've been collecting through these events. Now I don't have all of them because I didn't really think about it when I first did it, but I did save up a good few boxes just to see how lucky your boy Bat really is. And while we're opening these up, I might tell you of an idea I had and what I've been really kind of thinking about. Okay guys, so we're gonna come over here to these engineer things. Let's see. Okay, we got the special. Nice. I wonder how long this is gonna take. We up, we got a blue. Another blue. Is, this is basically common practice. This game really just loves giving you blue. I, I don't understand why you can't just do a goddamn claim all instead of just, hey, you're going to have to go through all of this. I, I guess it would be too hard to just do, like, you know, a whole line here and a whole line here just showing all the shit that you got because I, I doubt I'm really going to get anything more than a special. Oh, hey, look, another special. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Oh, they got another blue. Oh, what else? Oh, another blue. And is it? Oh, it's blue. What do you think it's gonna be? You think it was, is it blue? It's blue! It's blue, it's always blue. You'd be lucky, I think I've only gotten like one legendary from that piece of junk. All right, so let's see, we're gonna be doing the strategic reserve. All right, we got 18 of these pieces of shit. Oh yeah, I mean, to be honest, I like having the engineer badges. I, I don't know why, I just like saving those up. It's definitely better than just getting a little bit of scrap, and eh, that's fine. But what are the real chances of me just coming out here with uranium? Like, let's be honest. I, I don't even know the, the statistics of this game. I just know it's low probability. I wonder how low it actually really is. All right, we're getting a lot of badges. I guess I can just buy a bunch of electronics. All right, what is it? Is it, oh, oh electronics. Is it badges? Oh, it's badges. I'm... Is it really just all badges? There is a possibility to get something other than badges and electronics, right? Like, I'm not stupid, am I? Like, you can get scrap or something, right? Oh, look, there we go. I, I guess it's a high pro <laughs> high probability of engineer badges. Like, that's fine, whatever. I'll take the engineer badges. Is it engineer badges? Oh. Who would have thunk it? Let's see, what is this? No. No, these aren't guesstimations. No, I don't really care. Nope. Ah, here we go. Military reserves. Yep, we're gonna be doing this one. All right, what is it? What is it? <gasps> Holy shit! That's our first batteries. Oh my god. Oh, more badges. All right, we're getting 50 badges. All right, 50 badges. Is it? Oh, is it badges? Oh, it's badges. Oh, I'm gonna definitely have a shit ton of badges ready to just go through here. And I'm somebody that I don't really care to buy stuff off the market. I'll just go and craft everything. So it works out for me, really. I'm surprised I'm not getting scrap. Like, I could have sworn scrap was the one that you just, like, somehow get all the time. Like, isn't 50 engineers... Engineer badges better than just, like, 50 scrap or whatever? Because, like, you can just buy, like, double the amount of scrap. What's this? Nope. Oh, here we go. I forgot about the reward for the joke. I don't have the farting horn. Wait, hold on. Let me see these. I don't have this. I don't have this horn. I don't have this duck. Uh, I don't have the snowflakes, I don't think. All right, and the rest is lame. So really, all I really want is the duck and the horn. What, what do you think the chances are? I think the chances are. Let's see. Door number one. Oh, yeah, okay. Come on. Give me the horn. That's blue. I need purple. I don't do I have that. Yeah, I got the head. <gasps> there we go. My first comedian horn. Now I can fart away to my heart's content. Now I need a duck. Come on, duck. Duck. Oh, well, okay. Maybe I got a little bit of luck. All right, I got everything I don't have. Fantastic. Now what? Now I got two, so I can have one for both sides. All right, so now we can just, like, skip through all this bullshit. What's this? Oh, nice, another one of those. Uh-huh, uh-huh, yep, stickers. All right. Uh, man, the purple have a much higher chance. Well, now I got everything. <laughs> All right.
right, okay, cool. So I unlocked basically everything. Because I already have all this other bullshit. Cool. Alright, what's next? The spotter container? What's in the spotter container? Uh, I do want these, and I want another one of these. The imaginary friend, because last time I only got one. I think I have the duck. I don't have the express, and I don't have this purple. I don't believe so. We're, we're going for these. These four right here. And I got 15 to go. Alright, here we go, here we go, here we go. Ah, that's not a gold or a purple. That, no, no, that's be shit. <gasps> There we go, that's one, that's one! Alright, come on. No, that's not, uh, no, that's a piece of shit. Uh, oh, oh. Uh -huh. There we go, that's two! What else did I need? Okay, I don't need any more of those, I can only put two. Okay, mm -hmm. I don't know, and now it's... Okay, um, if only you could have more than two. Come on, man. You're really not gonna give me one of the inflatable hovers? Oh, you dirty bitch. Okay, I don't have that. You give me at least one inflatable hover. Are you serious? Oh, you're a bitch. You are a bitch. Oh, well, I mean, nah. That's some bullshit. Damn. I like my inflatables, man. Oh, shit. God, now I gotta buy these pieces of shit. Damn it. Alright, so what else do we got? What is this? Is this a random crate? Oh, no, that's piece of shit. Oh, humanitarian crates. Here we go. We got eight. Uh huh. Uh huh. No, no. It's not uh, uranium? Uh, no, that's not uranium. Uh, uranium? That's not uranium. No, that's not where uranium looks like. Oh, dude, what is the? F I uh, does anybody actually know what the probability of getting uranium is? I think I've seen one person, one person get uranium. Okay, so out of all that, I didn't get a single piece of uranium. Fan, fantastic. All right, what's this? Oh, okay, this is the new thing with the Valhalla, which is basically chrome except very shiny. Here, if you haven't seen it, this is chrome, and then this Valhalla is like super shiny chrome. There you go, it's like polished chrome. I actually kind of like it more than that. And then black gold. Black gold's always nice. That would be nice to have. I mean, I already have it, but it sells, it sells decently, so that's why I mean. Uh, I don't... Heartwarming, I don't think I have that. Oh, so there actually is two paints in here that I don't have. What's this? Chilling smoke, red giant. Okay, so all of the other ones are just basic shit. So it's really the Valhalla. Heartwarming and black gold. These are the three you want to hope for. Actually, I'll, I'll take. Oh, this is Quicksilver. I don't think. Do I have Quicksilver? No, I don't have Quicksilver either. Hmm. I thought that was Chrome. My dumbass. That was Quicksilver. Okay, so it's a really shiny Quicksilver. Well, I mean, we're here. I only got one so far, so. Oh, no. That's a piece of shit. Yeah, thanks. Alright, so I'm gonna save this bad boy for last, see if we actually get a legendary weapon. What's this, a random sticker? That sure went... No. Press new to automatically redeem the rewards. And go straight to the container. What? You haven't finished the previous container. Paints. How, how the fuck did I not? Did I not accept it? Thank you? Okay. Alright, can I get my sticker? What is it? It's this thing! An intersection! Yay! Alright, so I don't think... I'm pretty sure the rest of these are just select shit. So, I think we're on the main course. We're on the main course, we're on the main course, we're on the main course! Oh, what's the probability? It used to tell you, like, low probability, high probability. Now it just says random. What is random? You, you really think it's a one-third chance to get a legendary? I mean, like, let's see all the shit that's in here. Wow, that's a lot of legendaries. That's a lot of purples. That's a lot of specials. I don't... If it's really, like, random like that, it should be a one-third chance, right? And then the crate's not selling very high, so, you know, the, 
That makes it sound like the probability of getting a legendary isn't isn't really that great. But we're, we're gonna open it. We're not gonna sell it. We're gonna open it. Three, two. Are you happy, Crossout? Did, did that satisfy your desire to make me go back? Are you, can I, can I, may I have permission to open this crate now? Wow, thank you, and thank you for the piece of shit. I, I appreciate it. Can I sell this? And, yeah, I see, I knew it. got a probability of getting a legendary. You should give it a try. Oh, just kidding. You're gonna get some shit. Of course. Of course, Cross Out. Who, who would have who would ever would have thought that, huh? Well, anyways, guys, that's gonna be the unboxing. Very, uh, wasn't that, wasn't that just so exciting? Didn't that make you feel like those, uh, in it, was it, was it Madden? I, I don't play those damn games. Those, those Madden videos when they open up those damn card packs. And they're like, oh yeah, baby. This is legendary. Um, I don't play. I don't, I don't watch football. I don't know. Like Tom Brady. Is he a football player? I think he's a football player, right? Oh, he's a legendary Tom Brady. Like, isn't that just so exciting? Just getting trash. Like, you know, if it, if it was like one uranium. Just, just one. That would be like. Oh, that's not bad. No, no, you know, after like, what was that, 40 crates plus whatever you got from all the other season passes and and I haven't gotten one piece of uranium from those damn crates. I haven't gotten one legendary from one of those damn crates. Like, I didn't even get the, the stupid hover wheels, like, that are fake. Like, oh, come on. No, whatever. I mean, it's nice that I got basically all the purple stuff I didn't get, but... Uh, I mean, oh well. So, well, that, that's it. That's unboxing. How, how exciting, am I right? How, that's This is how I feel every time I unbox those things, because I'm always like, oh, this is going to be a blue, isn't it? Of course. Of course it is. But anyways, let's get over to our drone apocalypse gameplay. See you there. Alright guys, so now we're getting into our gameplay over here for the drone apocalypse. Like I said again, this thing is a few weeks old. I basically was holding it off for some type of reasons that is none of your concern, to be honest. I'm not trying to find any type of sympathy or pity from anyone. It's, like I said before, I've been having some health issues and whatnot, but it is something that it's my battle, alright? So I do apologize if my videos have slowed down and everything. But... I have been taking my free time that I've been getting lately because of this and I've been watching more videos and reading into the aspects of how to actually operate and manage and everything that you really need to know when going forth into the amusement park industry. So I kind of had an idea that what if we played like you know different styles of games or you know we could continue playing cross out and whatnot. But maybe if I can get a single player game working where it's not online, I could possibly do like a live stream or something. So that way we can talk about these different types of subjects. And I think this would be very beneficial for myself if I could get like an audience that would be something, you know, somewhat behind this kind of idea. Because when you actually, you know, talk about and get other people's perspectives and what everything and, you know, you, you try to teach people about these different aspects and whatnot it actually helps you know help me remember it'll help me keep on track with my goals and basically trying to get into this type of you know career path and I, I thought that was a pretty cool idea I actually even went and found out that you can play Thrillville off the rails for free on PS5 and this is a game all the way back from PS2 so I was kind of shocked that I was actually able to download this game on here and since now that I have that installed, I was thinking we could either do like a live stream or just a video of me blabbering on about the different types of subjects that IAPA is basically providing through their educational program. And I don't know if anybody would actually be interested in that. I'm pretty sure most of my fan base here is just all about cross out, cross out, cross out. You know, I'm pretty sure I got like 300 something subscribers just because everyone here loves cross out and whatnot. But I thought it would be 
a pretty cool idea to try something like that and you know maybe if you guys are interested I would love it if you could participate with me so that way we can actually have a discussion in going through this type of subject because if you remember I never really planned on going big on YouTube I don't think I'm a very fascinating person or anything like that I don't really have the the gizmos and all this type of like tr technology and shit that will actually be able to provide these high quality videos and whatnot all i got is playstation and playstation is very limited on itself to where i like as soon as you pass a certain point on like transitions or recording or if you put a certain number of videos into it and you do whatever type of editing it's like playstation just says screw you you need to stop i can't handle this type of subject and whatnot but Besides that, you know, with a live stream, I could just keep on going. You know what I'm saying? Like, we can just go and go and go, and we could just have, like, a proper discussion about the whole thing. And I thought that would be, like, a pretty fun topic to actually go through. So, you know, if anyone is interested, I think that it would be great to go through the videos. And it's actually a very educational type of thing, to be honest, because a lot of it is basically just standard business practices and what you should really do to better yourself in any type of field really because a theme park seems to be just about as helpful learning about it as if you're going into AutoZone or McDonald's or Dollar Tree, Walmart and you're trying to be a manager and whatnot and you're probably like, what are you talking about? This has nothing to do with like Walmart and let me just say that if you do participate with me you'll, you'll see what I mean because a lot of it is basically basic business practices and how to really treat your team and how you want to go forward and basic you know you know it, like I'm, I'm really trying to emphasize basic like they tell you that it's very simple practices that a lot of people will tend to forget and whatnot and it it honestly really is like treating your team with kindness trying to have them involved basically trying to make them feel like their workplace is their home in a way like you want to have them feel like like this place having it organized clean and everything is just to boost their ego like if you invite a guest to their house and they say oh wow this is really nice you know you you want to have your team involved with you and do different type of projects and basically reward them for good jobs even if it's something so simple just it, it's a lot of things man I'm, I'm just trying to be very vague about this but if you're interested, I will start going, like, re-watching the videos and everything that iApp is giving me. And I, I would love to do this so that way I can have it fresh in my mind. And this is something I really want to do also because I am going to be going to Las Vegas in uh, October. And it's not for no fun or pleasure. I'm not going to be gambling. I'm not going to be drinking. I'm not going to be looking for some type of hooker on this square or whatever the hell it's called over there. I think it's called West Strip. The Vegas Strip or some shit like that. Yeah, it's it's not for that. It's actually I'm going to the WWA, the World Water Park Association. They're having an expo over there at the Paris Hotel, and I plan on taking part into that because I really want to take part in their 40 plus classes, meeting the investors, meeting the manufacturers, meeting the suppliers, meeting leaders in the water park industry, and I I just really think this this would be a great way to get my footing in there. And even the commissioner of my county is saying that this would be very beneficial for me and once I get through that he might be interested in talking again to see if we can actually build a water park here in North Florida and I think that would be absolutely fantastic and I don't know any if any of you would be interested in that but is definitely something that I kind of want to push forward with because I think it would be very beneficial for myself and the career that I want to go through where eventually I can finally have this park build up i can start bringing families together veterans together you know police firefighters nurses regular civilians just basically have them all together and and it doesn't matter what kind of color you are or whatnot it doesn't matter your background it doesn't matter where you are from any part of the world because the whole point of it is to have fun and that's what I truly love about it is that it it's diverse and it's not just that fucking lefty bullshit type of diverse where it's secretly racist towards white people and all this other bullshit right and I I I I don't even know how to say it to be honest but I think this would be fantastic and if when I can finally have everything built up or even put even if I can't build a 
the water park and I can get myself into the industry, I would love to be able to push forward and actually helping the heroes of America and doing something for our veterans in all categories, whether it be, you know, a veteran of the military or a veteran police officer and actually giving back to the community and leaving a legacy of good behind when I succumb, you know, in the future. All right. But guys let me know in the comments i'm not sure how many people are going to watch this because you know when you leave a delay it's going to be like what 36 of you maybe tops but that's just kind of what i've been thinking and if you think that sounds like a cool idea please let me know anyways i hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video and you have a great night oh and don't forget to like and subscribe see you everyone